What is up guys, Venge here bringing you a very important video because this is an update regarding the streams because uh, my previous schedule, very confusing and I didn't even think about it until now, especially since some friends brought up how confusing that could be and after thinking about it over the past few months, there were quite a few people that were actually quite confused about the schedule because I had like a two week thing like a two week cycle one week was Mario week the other week was variety week so people would get confused as to what's gonna take place each day to give you an example there was one day where it was uh, variety week on when and uh, Wednesday I was supposed to do Zelda and then people were asking about um, Mario Galaxy when it should be Zelda and vice versa so people were having a really hard time keeping up with the schedule and knowing what's going on so I wanted to uh, simplify that and by simplifying it there's some other things that comes along with that because there was some issues with some of the features that I do provide for viewers and I wasn't able to implement it properly due to the um, strict tight scheduling that I um, created for myself so this schedule is designed to kind of like mix things up make my channel less redundant because I felt like I was being too repetitive and I just want to really make live and things up a bit so First, I'm going to go ahead and break down the schedule. And so the current lineup is this. All streams take place at 8 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. The only reason why I would start later is if an issue happened or there was some kind of emergency. But by default, every stream takes place at 8 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Now, I do both YouTube and Twitch streams currently. So to break it down, YouTube streams is Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, and then Twitch streams is Thursday, Sunday, and Monday. So to make it very simple, this is going to be how the schedule is going to look every week. So there's not going to be any crazy changes like next week is going to be a whole different schedule. It's going to be very consistent. There should be no confusion at all. So why don't I go ahead and break down what we have here so if we look at Monday that big logo is the twitch logo that's saying that it's going to be a twitch stream on Monday and at the bottom right hand corner you see Super Mario Maker meaning Monday is Super Mario Maker on Twitch let's look over to YouTube I mean Tuesday <laughs> and Tuesday is YouTube. That's why the big logo for YouTube is there. I stream on YouTube. And every Tuesday is going to be Super Mario Maker for YouTube. Every Tuesday. So every Monday on Twitch, Super Mario Maker. Every Tuesday on YouTube, Super Mario Maker. Now let's talk about the rest of the week because that's going to be a bit different. Uh, when compared to Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday is YouTube. And what I decided to do for now on is I'm going to pick a game. Uh, my, uh, my goal is to try to incorporate more retro style games. Um, more retro Nintendo games. Um, that's the overall goal. But it can be more than just that. So I'm actually going to choose... Um, what I'll play and I'm going to try to make it very Make a very nice mix for each day um, So why don't we go ahead and mosey on over to Thursday same process? We it, but the exception here is Thursday is twitch and the same thing is going to happen I'm going to pick a game and I'm always going to try to make it a nice mix so that it doesn't feel as redundant as it was a couple months ago and now we're going to transition over to friday take a look at friday once again it's youtube on friday but the difference here is it's called a community stream and what that is is i would pick some kind of multiplayer game um 
that the viewers can interact can play with me on for example two of the main games that you're going to see a lot is like smash bros and mario kart but there could be other games such as rocket league jackbox etc and so on so that's what i'm going to do every friday every friday is a community stream so let's look at saturday saturday youtube day same process um i pick whatever i feel and then i'm gonna go with it and then we look at sunday Sunday is another one is this time is twitch on Sunday and it, it would be Whatever I choose to do at that point in time Um, so let me tell you why I made the schedule so Loose like I was very strict with my schedules saying what game I want to play on what day but the problem is by doing that it really crippled uh one of my key commands that people would be interested in and that would be the buy stream command where people can use their coins to actually purchase a stream and they can pick the game that they would like to see for the day that they choose now because of my strict schedule a few months ago i kind of like dictated what day they could choose because maybe there may be a particular game that I haven't played enough of because I had to you know up here to the commands of like the buy streams and it made it very difficult and to incorporate you know the buy streams so in order to fix that problem to where people can actually have more freedom to choose what day they would like a buy stream I decided to make the schedule more flexible and this is why I've decided you know what let me go ahead and pick the games that I want to play that way let's say um, somebody wanted to do a, they wanted a buy stream for Tuesday since I'm able to pick what games I want to play at any given time I could say you know what sure we can do Tuesday and the the premise behind this is i know a lot of people love the maker streams but since i can choose what game i want to play i can always move that mario maker stream over to the next day so it's going to be very flexible people would be able to um enjoy the buy stream command and they'll be more encouraged to use the buy stream command so that's my reasoning behind that um i felt like my strict schedule made it so that people are not really encouraged to use it because they don't necessarily have that ability to pick what day they would really like to see it on so by making this schedule more flexible i'll be less of a stickler when it comes to that um and another reason as to why i wanted to do this schedule is simply because i want to be a bit more unique with my game choices because i felt like i've been far too repetitive and a lot of the games that i've been playing were a lot of the games that i played before or have completed the main story before so for some they may love it while others may be like oh, i've seen this before you know what i mean so I mean, it might be a little boring for some, so I really want to try to spice things up. I want to bring in more games like Paper Mario for the Wii, bring in more Cuphead. I only did like two Cuphead streams. Maybe do more Super NES, uh, you know, Super NES mini classics, you know, mini classic streams, stuff like that. So. I really want to make the stream stand out a bit more and make it more interesting for everybody and you have a real nice mix. So this is just a breakdown of the schedule change that is starting immediately, like right now. <laughs> so yes, that pretty much summarizes that. Um, and one more thing that I want to talk to you guys about and it's regarding smash bros ultimate i'm deciding to do a community only giveaway 
I, so those of you that are listening right now and you're very active on both YouTube and Twitch, you're going to have a huge advantage when it comes to being part of this giveaway because this is a community giveaway. This isn't a worldwide giveaway. This is strictly for the community because what I'm going to do is I am going to get the top 50 active members of the community and I'm going to put them in a recorded video like a recorded drawing um, for a free copy of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. That is my goal. Uh, I really wanted to do something for the community, something where the community would have more of a chance to win this time. And so we're doing a community only giveaway. Unless something happens and I can do a community only giveaway and a worldwide giveaway. When I say worldwide, I mean a giveaway that's accessible to anyone who subscribed. But for the community giveaway, is more for the top 50 active people. So if you feel like you have been quite active and you want to ensure your chances or improve your odds of winning, be active on YouTube and Twitch, especially Twitch. If you're already active on YouTube, I highly recommend that you get active on Twitch as well because that will improve your chances to being part of the top 50 that's going to be chosen to be part of the community giveaway for Smash Bros Ultimate. And what I mean by top 50 is not by the amount of coins that you have, it's by the number of hours that you accumulated um, while watching the streams. Uh, to give you an example, if I was to look at, I gotta pull it up. I'm using, I'm going to use this as an example, and I'm going to show you this live here of what I'm doing. Uh, the cool thing about um, a program that I'm using um, is Streamlabs Chatbot, right? Streamlabs Chatbot literally allows me to actually see the number of hours that um, that people um, attended the streams. And I can use that number to determine the top 50. Now let's talk about how I keep track of the top 50 viewers. I keep track of the top 50 viewers by using Streamlabs chatbot because the cool thing about streamlabs chatbot is it allows you to rank everybody by coins or time um i changed it the time i wanted to rank everyone by time that way it would be a lot easier for me to determine the top 50. um because what i want to do is get the the top 50 people that has the most hours on YouTube and Twitch. And what I mean by hours is the total number of hours that you attended the streams throughout the year. So as you can see here at the far right of the list that I have here, you have numbers and those numbers at the far right is the number of hours that uh, every person um, attended the streams like the total number of hours so if i was to look at let's say big cheese and big cheese games has a total of 58 hours that's a lot of hours keep that in mind um i'm assuming 58 would be enough to get someone to be part of the top 50 but keep in mind there are a lot of people that I'm going to have to account for and I would be looking at every single person to see the number of hours they accumulated. But the trick is you got to make sure you're active on Twitch as well, because if you're active on Twitch too, then that would give you the highest probability of becoming one of those top 50. That's why it's so important 
to be following me on Twitch too and joining me on those Twitch streams because I will be adding the number of hours that people attended streams on Twitch as well. So let's say for example, Android 21 um, att um, attends both YouTube and Twitch. Not only will I be adding her YouTube hours, but I will also be adding her hours on Twitch as well. And that would give her a huge advantage in terms of becoming one of the top 50 that would be entered in this drawing for a free copy of Smash Bros. Ultimate. So it's very important. If you know you're active on YouTube and you're not necessarily that active on Twitch, I highly recommend that you do so you can improve your odds of getting a digital copy of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And I believe that's all that I have to say in regards to uh, this update. I really wanted to inform everyone about the schedule and tell everyone in the community what I'm planning to do for you guys. Not for the whole world, because like all, all the other giveaways I've done was mostly for the whole world, but I wanted to do something special for the community and give the community more of a chance to win. Because a lot of the giveaways that I've done in the past, well, since I was doing collaborative giveaways with other people, the probability of anyone from my community winning is a lot slimmer. I mean, there's still a chance they could win, but it'd be far less of a chance. So now is your chance to win a digital code for a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, I wish everyone the best of luck on this because um, it's already started because you want to make sure you have enough hours because I'm thinking what I'm going to do is the day before the day before uh, the release of Smash Bros Ultimate I'm going to start counting all of the hours so on December 6th that will be the end game. That would be the end date, and I'm going to try to have my winner selected the day of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you guys have an ultra fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a blessed day, guys, and peace.